Hey, what's going on guys? Chris here, taking a look at that static rifle in Doom's competitive multiplayer. It's a brand new weapon for the Doom series and can only be used in the multiplayer part of the game. It's one of the last guns to unlock and it functions quite differently to a lot of the other weapons in terms of how that damage is dished out. The static rifle basically gains power from player movements as it's charged up with static electricity. As you walk around the map, the gun will charge up its power, as shown by that indicator around the reticle. Whenever you pull down that trigger, the rifle will unleash a beam of energy towards whatever you're aiming at, which can deal both strong and weak amounts of damage depending on how charged up the gun is at the time. It can be a great weapon to deal a large chunk of damage whilst you're on the move at pretty much any range, though the rate of fire for the gun is pretty slow as you can only fire one beam off at a time. The gun has a full ammo count of 20, so 20 shots, and it takes around about 5 seconds for the rifle to charge up to its maximum when you're in constant motion. Though if you stop moving, that charge is going to get lost and of course deal less damage when you fire your shot, so it's safe to say that camping with the static rifle is a bad idea. The charge from each shot will be lost every time you fire the gun off too, so it's best to make every hit count as you'll have to be accurate if you want to fully utilise the static rifle's advantages. So as for the damage with a fully charged up shot, the beam normally deals 60 damage with a hit to the body and 79 with a headshot. So it's a very powerful gun if you can manage to get that fully charged up shot to land on another player, especially if you hit the head, as it's going to take away a huge chunk of health in just the first shot. And if a player is fairly low on health as it is, this shot is easily enough to put them down instantly. Though when the gun isn't charged up to the max, it's going to deal much less than this, varying on that power level. The minimum amount of damage the rifle can deal when you're practically standing still is 20, so it's not exactly a brilliant weapon for spamming shots at another player, as this low amount of damage probably isn't going to be enough to do what you need it to do. Now the static rifle's weapon mod doesn't actually have an alternate way of dealing damage, as it just zooms in for your primary fire, allowing you to get a better aim on your targets at longer ranges. This is more important than it might sound though because the static rifle fires fairly slowly and requires you to be more accurate with your shots, getting the slight zoom advantage can often help picking off weakened enemies over distance. Plus you can also take a chunk of health out of stronger players further away, which can then be followed up with a second charged up shot when you move closer towards them. Zooming in with a weapon mod doesn't affect the damage you deal, so it's best to use it whenever you're taking on someone past those closer ranges and whenever it suits depending on the situation. When picking a secondary weapon, I'd opt for one that fires quickly and can finish off other players without having to be too accurate in the process, as a lot of the time, it's best to get your fully charged up shot to land on your target, dealing that high amount of damage, punching a huge hole in their health and armour, and then simply finish off their remaining health with another weapon that can deal constant damage. A lot of enemies that you come across might not have a lot of health and armour, so if that first shot doesn't kill them, it's usually more effective switching to something like a plasma rifle or a lightning gun that can quickly take away the rest of their health without you having to line up under the static rifle shot and wait for it to charge up. It's also a good idea to chuck in a grenade if you have one, as a lot of the time the damage from the grenade combined with the damage from your charged up blast is usually enough to kill most players. So the static rifle can generally be a tricky weapon to use down to that constant need of motion and accuracy. It's both a run and gun weapon and a sniper at the same time, and so that ease of use might put a lot of players off, with there being a load of other weapons in Doom that can deal high amounts of damage without having to be so pinpoint accurate. But if you can manage to land your shots and wait for that power to fully charge whilst moving and strafing around your targets, then the static rifle is a very deadly weapon in the right hands. So that's all for this one guys, give me a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in that next one.